Hey all viewers and viewers, General Red here once again, bringing you more of the Airport Assault single player custom map uh, for Return to Castle Wolfenstein by the chap called Romboy. Uh, my voice uh, was going funny then. Now, as you remember, we have this guy here who apparently is our friend, and I'm assuming we're leading him down here somewhere. And there's this other guy over here who's wandering around back and forward and I don't think he wants to come near so quick let's run out now oh god I get down here there's hangars here with that little aeroplanes in them let's collect there we go he's dead oh wow that's some weird lag that I get a bit when I look in this direction oh hey I didn't <laughs> started shooting him anything here? Just tools, there's a big health pack. Looks very small that for an aeroplane. Oh god. Don't stand near the propeller because the propeller looks really weird. Um, I kicked up all your guns. Oh no I didn't. There we go. How much of them have I got? Oh wow, I've got a lot of ammo for this now. Alright, so let's have a look around see what we need to do. There's another door. He's down. And you're down as well now. More grenades here. Get those. Ooh, ammo. Won't say no to ammo. Alright, so... I'm wondering where I'm supposed to go. There's quite a lot of health round, though. That's not too bad. You're still there. That's good. Let's take a look around. Now... Um... I've got sniper scope on here now, so that's not too bad. I'm wondering where we need to get going to next. Now there was a guy up in that tower who I don't think I killed. So I think I'm going to need to take him out. Can I get him? He's there. There we go, I've got him. So was I sure I couldn't climb up here? No, there's no icon appearing. Oh god, lag. So... I'm not sure where we're heading now. So I'm just going to like look around, see if I can locate any sign of um, an endpoint. It's alright, you're still running along behind me. Can't go there. Does that hurt if... Ooh, that hurts if I touch it. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, that was a, a bit of a stupid idea to touch the concertina wire, but hey. You know, it's only by touching them that you find out. It's all part of the learning curve, let's say that. I don't need health, do I? No. Well, I've, I've, I do, but not just yet. I'm not in a severe or critical condition. There is a ladder here. I can go up this. Yeah, he's still down there. Is there something in here? Oh, hello. One down. Two down. There we go. Three down. He's just standing down there by the looks of it. Oh, wow. Can you hear that? It's like sounds for the flag fluttering in the breeze, and the breeze, in the breeze. Actually, wasn't aware of that. Or, or rather, wasn't aware that that sound was in the game. I mean, it probably is, but yeah, I've just probably never noticed it. Okay, so let's take a look at what we got in here. Lugas. Um, no, that's for the chair. So what's up here then? That's a 25 health pack, I'll have that. Uh, do I have to send a signal off one of the radio controls or something? No. Mm, don't know what I'm doing. Oh, something over there! God damn it. Miscalculated that. Ooh! And I touched the wire again. Be careful. Be very careful. Something over here? Yeah, there was ammo. Alright. Oh! That was it. Okay, I just needed to go towards the airplane. Oh wow, so this episode is only like been what, like four or five minutes? Well, okay, well, that's interesting. 
So, yeah, go on, I'll use a few more minutes to, to uh, give my impressions of this map. So this was uh, Airport Assault by Romboy, if you haven't uh, realised that already, because, you know, I have mentioned it about a million times in this episode. Well, not a million, but I did mention it at the start of this episode and the start of the last one, obviously. Uh, download link to this map will be in the video description and the obviously in the description of the last uh, Airport Assault video as well. So, let's uh, sum up about the map then. I mean, what did I think? Um, when it started, obviously, it was quite good because it had that uh, custom music. That music, um, as I think I said in the first episode, that wasn't in the vanilla game, so evidently that's been uh, modded in. So, yeah, that was quite good because it set up quite an atmosphere. Sounded uh, really good. Um, graphically, um, it feels a bit like this map was maybe a first attempt by the maker because the textures, like, there was obviously that texture of that um, note or whatever it was, which wasn't actually showing up, so all we could just see was a few lines. And then obviously the actual landscape, like just sort of went from a certain, uh, went out for a certain distance, then just stopped, you know, ended without any like borders or anything. It just sort of dropped off. So yeah, that was a bit weird. But uh, having said that, you know, this map wasn't too bad. It was all right to play. It was a nice little uh, thing to do. Um, <clears throat> the enemies weren't too hard. Um, there was a nice little mix of enemies, come to think of it. So from like officers to engineers with weak pistols, right through to like soldiers, and then the paratroop guys with their uh, FG42 rifles. So yeah, nice mix of enemies, but not too hard. Um, objectives weren't really that clear. So yeah. Um, could have maybe done better this map if you know there'd actually been some objectives in the notebook or something. There wasn't even like an intro screen at the start or anything, as there have been in like previous custom maps that I've played. But you know what? Um, so if I have to sum up overall, not the best map I've played, but it's not bad either. It's all right. So yeah, uh, if you all want to go and check it out, then just check out the link in the description. And in the meantime, I'm going to wrap it up there. So this is General Red, signing off. Goodbye.